Hello everyone and welcome back to Dark Souls for Dummies, the only series where we show you everything you need to know for your Dark Souls 3 playthrough. So, you just made it through Anne Orlando, and now you're on to Aldrich, Devourer of Gods. So, before we begin, let's look at our equipment. So, we have the Sharp Cell Sword Twin Blades plus 6, the Normal Knight Armor, the Lloyd's Sword Ring, the Estus Ring, uh, the Pontiff's Right Eye, and the Karthus Milk Ring. Also, we're going to bring in our Estus Flask and Charcoal Pine Resin. With that said, let's go ahead and jump into the fight. going to go ahead and apply my resin as soon as I walk into the door. Then, as soon as I apply it, I'm going to run right into that big boy right there. Come here, Aldrich. So, when he sends out the stack, you're just going to keep on rolling until you get to him. When he slams his staff, try and hug the end of his tail so you don't get damaged by it. He will always go to the direct opposite corner, so he should be popping up over here. Okay, then you're just going to get back, stay as close as possible, because his melee attacks are by far the easiest to dodge, and they don't do too much damage. So, you're just going to go ahead and start smacking him around. Then eventually he will stick his staff back into the ground, get a couple more quick hits in, then he's going to the opposite side once again. So there he is. Still in first phase for right now, so should be good. Oh, already back down. He's uh, feeling feisty. Okay, and into the opposite corner, just entered second phase. This means he'll have a little bit of a fire after effect, so just be mindful of that. Um, gonna go ahead and just try and stay close to him. He does have a couple of devastating uh, range attacks in this phase, so make sure to stay as close as possible. Also, when he stands, uh, slams his staff to the ground, it will send out those little orbs again. Just try and run past those. So, for these ones, you're gonna want to roll past them. For the ones when he uh, goes underground, you can normally run out of those, but you can roll as well if you need to. Okay, just keep hitting him. Try to bait out those melee attacks. I'm going to try and get behind him so I don't get hit by his AoE from slamming the staff into the ground. Let's see. We were kind of in the middle of the room, so I'm not sure where he's going. Oh, there he is. Okay, let's try. Yep, this is the attack you want to avoid, but when he does it, just go ahead and roll once and then begin to run. You're going to want to kind of just stay away from the arrows. Try to close the distance to get, get, close to the, uh, get back close to the boss to make sure he doesn't send the arrows again at you. Then, you're just going to run up, smack him around a couple more times, and you're done. And that is how you beat Aldrich using a knight. Okay, now that you know how to beat Aldrich using a knight, now we're going to show you how to beat him using a mage. So, we're going to be using the Raw Sorcerer Straight Sword plus 6. We are going to be using the Sorcerer's Staff plus 6. We are going to be using the Fallen Knight Set, the Young Dragon Ring, the Pontiff's Right Eye, the Estus Ring, and the Lloyd Sword Ring. Also, the only spell we're going to be using this time is going to be the Twisted Wall of Light. With that said, let's go ahead and equip some Charcoal Pine Resin, apply that immediately, and hop on into it. Okay, so just going to go ahead and head through the boss door just like last time. Straight run towards the boss. Going to try and go around his first attack, which he doesn't seem to want to send. Oh, it's a melee attack. Okay, well that's nice. Let's go ahead and start smacking him in the back again. This is going to be pretty similar to the knight strategy because Aldrich is very strong to magic attacks. So we're going to be mostly using our magic for defense. Uh, thus the Twisted Wall of Light. I do not recommend using Vow of Silence because that wears off when he teleports, but it'll still still be on you, so you won't be able to defend against this next wave. That's why I prefer the uh, Twisted Wall of Light. Okay, just going to keep smacking him around for a couple of seconds. Should be going about second phase. I'm uh, going to go ahead and heal just for just to be safe. Yeah, I'm just saving this, so I'm going to probably cast Twisted Wall of Light right now, get some of those guys off of me. Don't want to get hit. Then I'll go ahead and roll through his melee attack, get back some of my stamina before I go for it. Gonna start chipping away at him, get those last couple hits in, roll out to go ahead and get that heal in. Hit him one more time, nope, missed it. He's gonna be going for the corner, isn't he? Yep, cool. So just gonna keep running across the side, running across the side, hit him a couple times, wait for that stamina to regen. Get a couple more quick hits in. Probably going to apply some charcoal pine resin as soon as he goes under. There we go. Go ahead and reapply. Should be pretty low health by now. And just going to run on over to the opposite corner once again. Oh, what's he doing? Going for that melee attack? Yes, the Twisted Wall of Light also works on the arrow attack. So if you ever need to, just start casting that like crazy. And it will uh, like cast it once or twice and keep running towards him. 
And that is how you beat Aldrich using a knight and a mage. If you enjoyed the video, please remember to like and subscribe to continue getting back to the basics.